Hello, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at a variation of the single leg deadlift that's more or less a regression um, for the person who struggles uh, to maintain good form, especially those with problems in the lower back from lower leg exercises. So with the glutes, it may be not working enough or even overworking and feeding problems into the lower back. So this is where I'm using uh, like a TRX type of equipment where you can hold on to it. It has a fixed sort of point where you can, um, it can you're basically cheating on the balance component of it so you can execute a really good movement. So you can see here like uh, where I'm holding on to the straps that are attached, attached to a bar up, up here. So it's attached to this pole. Um, I'm able to like maintain like balance for a long time, but I'm also able to really execute uh, pretty much perfect form, I suppose. And then you can you can really lower into this position where I've got my arms extended. And this is the other benefit of doing it this way: is this overhead movement, which is quite difficult to do with if you, when you're not holding on to anything, really lengthens the spine, so it really stops the compression. So avoids, sort of helps to avoid um, the issues of this overextending because you'll you'll end up getting a bit of the kyphosis back that some of the people with sacroiliac problems and extension related problems will just because they'll sit up right too much, so their head may be here and it'll just jam into their back. By me, by the the resistance of the bar pulling me that way helps to sort of lengthen my spine out to avoid this um, compression that ends up right in the lumbar spine. So the longer the exercise goes on, I end up getting great strength into my glutes, which is what I'm looking for, but I don't have the, the balance and the complexity of, or the, the complexity and the problems associated with balance, and also the complexity and the problems associated with extension. So I'm sort of overcoming two of the big problems that you often see with these single leg exercises. So allowing me to experience what it should feel like without those problems going on you know and then I can I can uh, maintain a longer period of time at the bottom there which is really difficult to do without when you're not holding on to something so that isometric sort of training really helps to build a lot of extra strength and resilience into the tendons and the ligaments as much as the muscles themselves which really helps you to gain better control of the stability. All right, so I can really slow the tempo down. I can get into this really unnatural position that gives me everything in my favour. So very handy way to work with someone who's really having trouble, um, you know, with any of the movements through their legs. Really, that just feed into extension problems. Obviously, balance people were struggling with balance as well, but it's usually where I would find it. The most useful is for that person struggling with extension related pain. So once I've, um, let's say I'm fast tracked this now and, I'm, and I've done this for a few weeks or a month or so and I feel like I'm really getting the control of it, now I'm at a point where I could do maybe my first set holding on to that and then progress into the, where there's no, no assistance required and this is where I might use the hip airplane. So I'm going into that single leg deadlift position again and I could put my arms out in front with the overhead it's just a little bit different when it's not pulling me so I'm, I'm actually actively having to use my shoulders where beforehand the, the strap was actually pulling me so they were, my arms were resting so it's a little bit harder even though it looks the same or well, not a little bit harder it's a lot harder so I could go practice doing that and then I could even practice the rotation part of it which now places a huge demand into my foot which I hadn't had to experience yet because I was holding on to something. So my feet working really hard with my glutes um, to maintain the perfect form. Obviously the core working quite hard all the time as well, where it, that was also not having to work as hard while you're holding on to something. All right, so you can really, really regress this exercise by holding on and then test it by getting into these positions uh, where the stability is challenged again all right and you can see on this left leg where I if I go to hip airplane on this one how it's a little bit harder for me on this side I have a lot more problems on the left than I do the right um, you know and you can really get a bit of a gauge as to where you're at 
you know, if this is too difficult, you go back to holding on again. You know, and so not always, it's not always about adding load to make things heavier. Obviously, working through stability, good mo, good positioning, good mobility, you know, and, and learning to control it. And that's where some of these regressions are really useful. All right, so I hope you get some idea if you're struggling, struggling with lower back pain or hip pain, this can be a useful regression holding on to something. Um, if you don't have a TRX or something, you could easily do it with a cable machine, just load the, the weight stack right up to the bottom so you can't move it, so it's way too heavy for you to lift, and then just use the strap. It's not quite as good, but it's, the, it's another alternative. Uh, resistance bands are also uh, quite useful if you get a fair bit of tension on them. All right, so anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and we'll see you on our next one.